Hi programmers, today I'm going to show you a few things with data grid views that you can do. Uh, if you watched my earlier videos, you know, we created array lists and sort of worked with them that way. But um, this here is, you know, you don't have to do that. This would be a little something different if, you know, you needed to fill something on the fly or something like that. And, uh, first, I created this just to make sure that I remembered how to do all this stuff and um, it's just a little program I created that, um, a form and added a grid to it and then in the load I just created an array and filled it okay um, and then I'll show you what it looks like when we run it see it's just it's got an index and a name but anyway we are going to create us a new one and I created me a new solution and uh, you know, you don't have to have a project for each um, program that you do. You can have one solution with lots of projects in there. So I call this video solution, and um, I'm going to add a new project to it. And I'm going to call this Data Grid View EX2. here I'm going to go ahead and just leave all the default names um, over here on the data part I call it, I'm going to add a data grid view I'm going to add some columns oh add We're going to set the, um, we're going to get this in 120, make it a little bigger. And the other one we're going to get 50, uh, 50 is good because we're not going to do very many. Make it a little smaller. And then to get this little dot off here, we want to set the properties to allow users delete. We're going to say no, they can't delete. This is just the list box. Add rows, no. So that'll take that off. Make this a little bit bigger. Okay, let's add a text box. Okay, we add two buttons. this add button call this clear button Alrighty, now what we can do on the inside here. Uh, let's uh I'm gonna create us a counter for the ID number. Okay, now let's go back to our form. Now on this one, for the properties, we're going to have, we're not going to do nothing. For this one, for the properties, the add button, we're going to have a click event. Okay, 
and then for the clear we're going to have a click event okay now in the clear we'll do that's easy we'll go ahead and do it we're going to clear out the data grid view and we're going to um, clear out the counter Now then the click event for the add, we're going to say if the text box is not equal to, you know, if it's not equal spaces, then we're going to add it to that grid view. We got to increment the counter already. So we're going to add that counter and uh, we're just going to fill up, not giving any variable names or anything. And the text box one dot text. And hmm, it doesn't really like this up here. How about? what happens here. Oh, wrong one. Another thing you have to do if you're going to have a solution with a lot of them, you got to come over here to the one that you're working on and you got to set it as your startup procedure. So let's re do this. Okay, let's see if it works. Or if I goofed up somewhere. Add. <gasps> Cindy. Haley. Alrighty. Mark. And it did. Now let's clear it and see what happens. <gasps> it cleared for us. Yay. It worked right the first time. So anyway, that is our... Um, video today. Uh, I hope that will help. You know, you can use those data grid views for a lot of stuff. You don't have to just have an array list. You don't have to just use the Microsoft Wizard. You can do something with it yourself. Okay? Give that a try.